Hi, it's Alex. Today I'm here to talk about moderate politics and being a moderate. This is one of those topics that years ago I would have never thought would be controversial, but it has become quite controversial in today's political climate, and that's one reason why I want to talk about it. I identify as a political moderate, and I see a lot of misconceptions floating around out there about moderates and about what it means to be a moderate. And I want to tackle some of the biggest ones. The biggest mis misconception that I see out there is that people talk about being a moderate as if it involves being weak or taking weaker or wishy-washy stances on issues. This is not at all true. Just because I consider myself a moderate and hold a range of views, some liberal, some conservative, doesn't mean that I don't take strong stances on issues. For example, I am very pro-LGBTQ rights. So, for example, I have supported same-sex marriage since as soon as I thought about the issue when I was very young, and I've always supported that very strongly. Um, other examples, uh, I tend to be pretty strong on the question of fiscal responsibility, which is a traditionally conservative stance. Like, I feel very strongly about it being important to balance budgets, reduce spending, things like that. So, whether you're a liberal or conservative, if you look at me, don't think that I'm going to be weak or wishy-washy on these issues, or sort of back down more easily. Uh, I'm not always going to go for the exact compromise view on a particular issue. So this kind of leads into the next misconception, which is the idea that moderates have to be at the exact center, or close to the center, of whatever left-right political spectrum you're thinking about. I'm here in the United States, and over the course of my life, I have seen the Republican Party in particular move much farther right. Uh, it, it's moved from a type of conservatism, like if you look a little bit before when I was born, it's a party that I agree with pretty strongly, and it has moved from there to a party that I really don't want to be associated with. Like, it's advocating all sorts of things that I don't agree with. So, my own views, they haven't changed all that much, but as the Republican Party moved farther right, people's perception of me seems to have moved farther left. Like, people seem to consider me more liberal just because the Republicans moved farther right. I think that's kind of a misconception, and I don't necessarily agree with all the things that liberals say, all the things that the Democratic Party advocates for, and so on. So, just because someone's a moderate doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to fall at the exact center of politics. Uh, you also can find people who identify as moderates who are much more conservative than me. And I think it's fine that we both identify as moderates, but I think that's the next thing to throw out there. Like, being a moderate doesn't mean you're at the exact center. Okay, I, I want to talk though a little bit more about the positive aspects of being a moderate. Like, what does it mean to me? Why do I identify this way? So the first thing, I think in terms of my way of thinking, I take from both liberal and conservative ways of thinking. So for example, like the, bas the basic idea of conservatism is that you, you're a little bit skeptical of change. So you're not totally anti-change, but you're like, okay, things are the way they are for a reason, and traditional structures in society, they exist for a reason, and we don't want to just throw those out without thinking, without questioning. That's the type of conservatism I embrace. And similarly, with liberalism, uh, it's, it's all about questioning things, pushing for change, and that sounds like a good idea too. Now the way these actually play out, though, in society, it, it's kind of a mixed bag. Like, uh, liberalism, I think it goes wrong in a lot of ways. I think that there's this sort of typical approach to liberal policy making, which involves throwing money at a problem, creating laws, creating bureaucracy, creating regulation. I don't like that. This is an area where I am very conservative. I believe in very small, minimal government, simple, transparent laws, and Interestingly, though, some of the reasons I feel this way are coming from a liberal standpoint. So, for example, uh, 
if you make laws more complex, what is that going to do? That is going to favor people who have the money to afford lawyers. So you're kind of favoring the rich over the poor by making the laws really complex. And I think this explanation I just gave is an example of how and why I'm a moderate. That my viewpoints on an issue are this complex interplay of traditionally liberal and traditionally conservative viewpoints. I care a lot about wealth inequality. Uh, here's another example, tax policy. I really support the conservative idea of simplifying the tax code. I want a tax code that is very simple, very easy to follow, uh, very minimal, but I really like the liberal idea of progressive taxation. I like the idea of people who have higher incomes and higher net worths paying a greater portion of their income or net worth in tax. So again, I have this mix of viewpoints here. There, there are other things about being a moderate, though, that I think are really important to me, and one of them is how people communicate about politics. And you see this over and over again if you watch my channel. I care a lot about respecting people. I want to speak respectfully about people, especially when I disagree with them, and this is critically important for me. When I go to vote for a candidate, I often don't just look at the candidate's stances on the issues, I look at how the candidate communicates. And I want to vote for a candidate who speaks respectfully and positively of their opponents and of people that they disagree with, because I know that people who do that are better at working together with other people. And I, I really want to see in the United States, I want to see bipartisan legislation, I want to see legislation that has a broad consensus behind it, I want to see people appointing candidates that have broad support not just from people of a particular ideology, right or left, but just some, someone that everyone can get behind. This is what I want. And I think that candidates who talk respectfully, they have a better chance of doing that. And I would rather vote for someone who speaks respectfully, whose stances I disagree with a little bit here or there, than someone who has a closer match on the issues, but I don't like the way they communicate. That's, that's one thing that's really important to me. Uh, so yeah, I hope this has been illuminating, I hope I have dispelled some misconceptions about what it means to be a moderate. Uh, yeah, please comment if you have anything to add, any questions you want to add, ask me. Yeah, thank you.